Welcome to the Nashville Farmers Market. Thank you for being with us here today. Um, today is a really exciting opportunity to kick off the Mayor's Food Saver Challenge. My name is Tasha Kennard. I have the pleasure of serving as the Executive Director of the Nashville Farmers Market. And we got an opportunity to participate in the Food Saver Challenge last year. We really kind of sat on the sidelines and observed and tried to learn from the challenge partners on how to prepare our operation to become a zero waste facility. It's a daunting task for those of us that are managing larger facilities. So we stood by and watched um, how the Country Music Hall of Fame how um, Vanderbilt University and Music City Center and other large players in this city really addressed food waste in their back of house operation. And through all of the meetings and the sharing and the brainstorming, we've been able to develop a plan here at the Nashville Farmers Market that has diverted over 80,000 pounds of organic waste to the compost company just since April of 2018. It's these small steps that we can all make, whether it's in our restaurant, in our business, or in our home, that really make a big difference. And for us, we eliminated styrofoam. So all of our operations here at the market are now required to use recyclable or compostable materials. We also worked with the Public Works Department and the compost company to introduce composting services here on premises so that all of our restaurants, our shops, and our farmers could put their food scraps and their organic material into those compost bins throughout the day. And that compost comes full circle. Not only does it leave our facility and go out to the compost company, but it comes right back to our facility in bagged compost for community gardens, for farmers, and for us in our homes. So it's a really great opportunity to show the full cycle of how it works. This spring, we're taking another giant step forward. We're going to be introducing composting services to you as you come and dine and shop with us. And we're really excited about this next very big step. So today we're excited to be here along with all of the other challenge participants to kick off the Food Saver Challenge. And we want to thank all of the different program participants that have participated in this and led this so far, led us to become a better steward of our community and a better place for our community to find resources to join this campaign. Now we all know that we need leadership in order to to go in new directions. And we are so excited to have an incredible leader at the helm of this project and making this call to action today. Not only does this leader come to the market pretty much every week to pick up his produce and his flowers from farmers here, but um, he's also one who's gonna compost himself. You know, he's gonna compost at home. He's gonna encourage all of us to do it in our offices. So today I wanna introduce the mayor of our great city, Mayor David Briley. Well, thank you for that kind. You want to take your paper? You. There you go. You don't want to read my notes. I don't. You take your notes. There you go. Yep. Go for it. <laughs> I'll go for it now. <laughs> so, um, so thank you for the kind introduction. It's great to be here today in the farmer's market. My wife is actually more persistent than I am. She walks here from our house just a few blocks away every Saturday to pick up our CSA and to, to do the, a fair amount of the family shopping. So uh, it's great to be here in a place that we love and think is a really important part of this community. Uh, let me start by saying I, I, I think we all need to understand, accept, and acknowledge that climate change is a real thing that's happening in our country, in our world, and that um, a big part of the cause of that is waste. And um, waste is one of the most 
is the, one of the easiest things we can do to change in order to have an impact on climate change. So in Nashville right now, about 40% of the food that gets bought by the people who live in this city is wasted. It never gets used. And every little bit of that that we can stop wasting is a good thing for our climate and it's a good thing for the people who live in our community. Of that 40%, about 95% of it ends up in one of our landfills. That means we as a community are paying for a truck to drive it from Nashville to Murfreesboro and put it in a landfill where it decomposes. One third of the material we send from Nashville to Murfreesboro to Rutherford County is organic. It's compostable. It can be used. It can be put back to use without ending up in a landfill, filling it up uh, with more carbon emissions, with more truck traffic, with more problems for our community. So uh, in Nashville, we have an opportunity to do something about it, and that's what we're here today to talk about. Today is probably um, as good a day as any to bring this to the community's attention because we're getting close to the holiday season. And in Nashville right now, there are about 100,000 people who are food insecure. 100,000 people, a quarter of them, 25,000 of them are children. So not only can we do something good for the environment, but we can also do something good for our neighbors, for the people who live in our community. And that's what Nashville is all about. We are in a moment of great prosperity. We announce every day almost something good happening for jobs and for our community, for growth. But at the same time, we have an obligation to look out for everybody who lives in our community. So, uh, in this holiday season, in partnership with the Greater Nashville Hospitality Association, Nashville Originals, and the Nashville Food Waste Initiative, I'm challenging Nashville's hospitality industry, our hotels, our restaurants, our venues, to reduce the amount of food that goes to waste. It's not that complicated, really. Um, there's some pretty easy things that if you just redesign the way you're living, the way you're working, you can, you can embed into your everyday con in conduct and really start to make a change in terms of the amount of waste that we're producing. You can creatively reuse a lot of the food that's, that's going through your restaurant or your venue. You can donate food to one of our local not-for-profits like the Nashville Rescue Mission or One Generation Away. Uh, you can actively encourage people eating in your restaurants to use to-go to containers that are appropriately sized for the food that's going out. You can recycle uh, the food scraps by composting them, and I know you'll hear more about that in just a minute. And actually, uh, we are still a pretty agricultural state, so you can actually um, either sell or donate your food scraps towards animal feed um, in the region. So there are plenty of things that you can do here in Nashville, and we're challenging all of our businesses here that are dealing with, uh, that are using food to do their absolute best to reduce the amount of food waste going into our waste stream here in Nashville. So uh, before I turn the microphone um, over to um, the participants uh, who are already participating in this, pro in this uh, program, I do want to acknowledge a few of them. Uh, the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum, Bridgestone Arena, Shohan Ale and Masala House, Renaissance Nashville Hotel, the Hilton Nashville Airport, Holiday Inn Hotel and Suites, Nashville Downtown Convention Center, uh, with all due respect, one of my favorites, Dozen Bakery, the former client, I can say that when I was a lawyer, I represented them, so uh, I just, she paid me to say that. Uh, all the rest are my favorites too, you know, they, I love them all. Midtown Cafe, Miel, uh, the Old School Farm uh, to Table, Green Door Gourmet, Las Paletas, thank you very much. Uh, Puckets, Deacons New South, Ten Wings, and Kroger for accepting the challenge already. And a special thank you to BNC uh, Barbecue located right here behind me to the left for accepting the challenge as well. Uh, I also want to thank our local not-for-profits for working every day to rescue food from going to waste. Um, I know 
Second Harvest is here today, Second Harvest uh, of Middle Tennessee, One Generation Away, the Nashville Food Project, and the Nashville Rescue Mission. Uh, and uh, uh, finally, let me thank um, the Public Works staff. Uh, Sharon Smith is here today, and Mary Beth Eichert from, from our office. Uh, they've done a lot of work to make this day possible, and I want to thank them uh, in particular. So, now I'll turn it over to our partner issuing this challenge, Lisa LeClaire, the General Manager at Hilton Nashville Airport and incoming Board Chairwoman uh, of the Greater Nashville Hospitality Association. That's a lot of work, too, by the way. You shouldn't have taken that. Um, Lisa, here you go. I don't know if he meant that the hotel was a lot of work or the hotel association, hospitality association was a lot of work, but I'm looking forward to working with both. You know, we're honored to be part of the challenge and we are going to encourage all of our Greater Nashville Hospitality Association to do their part in preventing the food from going to waste. Uh, the Nashville hospitality industry really has a great opportunity here to demonstrate, take the lead in our food saving uh, practices and raise awareness about the food waste to the um, rest of the country. Uh, participating restaurants and hotels can save money uh, by adopting practices. Um, I can tell you that at the Nashville Airport Hilton, our chef Jeremy Dobson here um, has already begun by, uh, we're donating, donating soups. Our leftover soups are frozen in good sized containers uh, and provided to the Nashville Rescue Mission. Some of our leftover banquet food can be donated as well. Um, Hilton Worldwide has uh, already made the change to go to recycled paper straws, uh, cornstarch to-go cups, and other uh, to-go wear. Our goal for the hotel in 2019 is to start composting. Um, we're excited to be part of that challenge and uh, look for uh, continued support from our city. And now I want to turn it over to Manit Chauhan of Chauhan Ale and Masala House. Thank you so much. Mayor Briley, challenge accepted. No, you, um, you know, the one thing which I noticed is that the most important thing is to start the conversation. Um, we're opening a new restaurant and we designed the entire menu based on the fact that whatever our scraps, how can we effectively use it? Example, we'll be using a lot of potatoes. Potato peelings are going to be potato peeling chips, right? I realize no matter how small the impact is, it is an impact. And I hope that all my fellow chefs and restauranteurs, they take this challenge seriously. Because the conversation starts in your kitchen. And not only is it about saving um, food, but it's also about using your imagination. Because one thing that human beings have is a lot of imagination. You just need to give them a direction. So um, I am really excited to be a part of this challenge. And we'll come up with more creative ways how to um, save food. And I'm going to now uh, hand it over to Linda. Hi, I'm Linda Bragan with the Nashville Food Waste Initiative. Um, we are just delighted to be here with all the partners today and especially the mayor on reducing food waste in Nashville. Most of you know Nashville Food Waste Initiative is a project of the Natural Resources Defense Council, which a few years ago picked Nashville as its national pilot city for looking at various ways to address food waste at the local level. Um, so Nashville has been and will continue to be a model for cities around the country. We've been working on a holistic strategy that looks first at preventing food waste, then at rescuing food and getting it to hungry people, and then at composting in that, in that specific order. As the mayor mentioned, we throw away up to 40% of our food in this country. 40%. And here in Nashville, our research shows that about 40% of that waste is from restaurants, caterers, the hospitality sector. 
waste of this magnitude just has huge implications, right? Environmental implications, social justice, and cost implications, especially with our rapid population growth and our diminishing landfill capacity. So we are incredibly happy that so many restaurants and hotels here have already accepted the mayor's challenge. Uh, we hope all of you will ask all of your local restaurants to join. It's very easy to do. You just go to NashvilleFoodSaver.com, NashvilleFoodSaver.com, very simple. Um, so thank you to Mayor Briley and to all the businesses in this room. And I want to do a special shout out to the compost haulers that are here today that are offering special discounts to participants. That is just an incredibly important component of this. So thank you. I think we're really taking a huge step forward with this initiative. And we will all hang around and talk to anyone who wants to talk to us. This has been a service of the Metro Nashville Network. If you would like to see this presentation again, or for more information about this and other programs, visit nashville.net.